Check my privacy settings. Aha. Uh -huh. I believe I just did. I had the thing on only me who watched the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Live yet. yeah, I'm already live, but I, I didn't know it. Um, the privacy setting was uh, only me who watched the video. So I realized there's nobody else on. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Uh, uh, have, have I become the one of the guys who can be on live and um, they only have. Okay, now I'm, I'm seeing you now. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you, Bogart. Yeah, good morning, Pastor. Good morning to our many listeners across the globe. It's good um, to be here. Mm -hmm. On a Thanksgiving day, on a Thanksgiving day in the United States. Very good to be here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Today, you did some, you did some talking here. Eh? Uh, no, my man, I'm not a fan of turkey, yo. I don't let that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, my man. Let me be an African food, you know. Turkey, then the way they can fit turkey. Man. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I like American food, but I'm not a fan of turkey, man. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what everybody's talking about. I want to say good morning to you all, folks. Welcome to all of our people in the United States. I want to say shout out to you. Happy Thanksgiving. There's so much to be thankful to God for. Um, to all the um, members of the Council of Patriots, to all the supporters of the Costa Show, to all the um, friends of Henry Costa, all, all of you wonderful, wonderful people. I want to say, um, Happy Thanksgiving to you in America. And uh, beautiful day, good to be alive. Now, I know there are a lot of people, a lot of things have happened this year. 2020 is a terrible, terrible year that we're never going to forget. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, good morning to you, Mother Beatrice Washington. Good morning. Uh, we want to say we love you and we appreciate you. I hope you're doing good this morning. Shout out to you there and to all our brothers and sisters at the 
the AME Zion University. Uh, I just want to say this to you. Uh, there are a lot of terrible things have happened in this 2020. And uh, we are not better than those who have died, who have uh, given up, and um, which is even more reason why we should be very grateful for huh? Yeah. This year has uh, carried a lot of people, and it has not ended yet. Mm -hmm. um, this morning, we want to, in a very special way, convey our deepest condolences to the Yuri family, Mr. Bernard Yuri, uh, the political leader of my party. Uh, Mr. Yuri lost his elder brother, uh, Uncle Calvin. Uh, Mr. Calvin Yuri was a very, very warm man, very affable, very loving, very down to earth. I mean, he has such a personality. Uh, Uncle Calvin suffered for a while, and um, apparently he finally got tired suffering. And he gave up yesterday. I want to say to his children, my deepest condolences. He will be dearly missed, not just by you, but by those of us who will come to know him at some point in his life. I want to convey my condolences to Mr. Yuri and Mr. Bernard Yuri. He was very close to his brother. And uh, uh, Uncle Calvin must definitely be in a better place now. Uh, things were very, very bad with him health-wise. I mean, he was getting amazing care, uh, a lot of love, a lot of support. But, man, when sickness comes, it cares less. You know, it cares less. And so, Uncle Kevin, I want to say I bid you farewell. And we shall see someday, hopefully, not too soon. Not too soon. Uh, thank you all so, so much. I want to say uh, this morning, uh, you know, the reason I wasn't on yesterday with Boakai is I'm still struggling. To make a full turnaround, you know, I, I feel good, yes, but, you know, when you've just been not well, to wake up in the morning at a very early hour is tough, brother. Well, it's even tougher. It's normally tough, but then it's tougher when you have to do that. So uh, forgive me if I, the reason for my not being here yesterday. Now, the one thing everybody's talking about right now the autopsy reports, right? Sure. According to the report, the government claims that Adam Peters and Gifty he decided to sit in a car and on Broad Street mm -hmm. with the engine running. And according to them, the Parking attendant told them that the car was overheating, apparently overheating. And according to their assessment and analysis of the car, the vehicle, they concluded that the people died of the inhalation of. Uh, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, you don't need it. Basically, they said that people just sat down there and died. In fact, according to them, when they fly, they park in the chair and op open the door, Albert Peters could still speak, and he told him, close my door. Yeah, he said, close the door, we won't die in peace. Yeah, let us die, close the door. Nah. If Albert Peter felt something was wrong with him and he was sitting there, he and Gifty in his car, and a parking attendant came by to collect his fee or to tell him his car was overheating, 
Do you think the first thing that will come out of his mouth will be close my door? No. Wouldn't he have asked this parking attendant to call the ambulance or call the police or call for help? Mm -hmm. So ba basically, Peters wanted to die. Yeah. They left their homes, went to Broad Street, sat down in Albert Peters' uh, vehicle, mm -hmm. and wanted to die. Yeah, is it not that to get up in the car? Let's die again in the car. That is a narrative the government would have us believe that these two people had a death witch. They wanted to die together in a car to commit a suicide, more or less. That's what the thing says. Mm -hmm. They sat in the car, the carbon monoxide killed them, and they told the parking attendant to close the door and let us die. And give this lama. Took a phone and give it to somebody and say, oh, my sister, call. Uh, tell, tell my sister your name is Supreme. Yes, yeah, Supreme. And my body would be found the next day on Broad Street. On Broad Street. Mm -hmm. Now, according to the LMP, they went to, they picked up Supreme, this notorious criminal. Who runs a gang? Now, they say Suspe uh, Supreme is a person of interest. Why is he a person of interest? He, he is a person of interest because Kathy Lama's sister, who had called her sister's phone that night, Gifty's phone. Yeah. Multiple times. When, she, when her sister was not picking, she switched the phone, her number, to private. So as to hide her number. And then she finally called. And then somebody on the other end picked the call. When she asked him, Alarmed that somebody at that hour of the night was answering her sister's phone. She asked, what are you doing with my sister's phone? Who are you? He said, my name is Supreme. He said, don't worry, tomorrow you'll find your sister's body in a car. Mm -hmm. That's what he told Gifty Lama's sister. Now, Gifty Lama's sister told the police this account. The police went and arrested Supreme which is what they should have done. But then, it's still a treating Supreme. Well, I'm sorry, I have to finish the story. They arrest the Supreme with the cell phone, with Gifty Lama's cell phone. In the report, you, you see them trying to minimize the role of these people. They call them petty criminals. Isn't that how they call them? Petty thieves. Yeah. Petty thieves. Supreme is not a petty thief. A petty thief does not tell the sister of his victim that her body would be found in a car the next day. A petty thief, that same petty thief, would not himself be in possession of the victim's pool if he knew nothing about how she was killed. So the government is trying to minimize or minimalize the role of the actual doers of the crime. Now, they were paid, of course, by government actors. But these, they know that if they pursue these criminals, chances are these criminals might just expose them. Mm -hmm. Now, they must be very pissed about how unprofessional something was by announcing to give his sister on the phone that her sister's body would be found on Broad Street and by giving out his name. The government must be pissed. Oh, these guys are not professional. Next time we'll find, we'll find better murderers or better killers. Yeah. I mean, what sort of killer would tell the sister of his victim on the phone that and give such descriptive information? What sort of killer would also give out his name on, on the phone? 
Mm -hmm. So you see these things? The government people must be saying, no, these guys are not professionals. They have got the same government who has Supreme in their custody come back and tell us that, oh, uh, we're sorry, Supreme is just a person of interest. In fact, I don't even think they arrested Supreme. They simply brought him in, asking some questions, and let him go. For being in possession of the cell phone, the government theory is that after these people sat in the car and died, sub, sub, Supreme, quote unquote, the petty thief, when it's still a cell phone of the dead people. But yet, it is him, Supreme, who answered the call. And told gives his sister that Gifty will be found in a car the next day. In the case of George Fambuto, the guy who was driving in a car and they hacked him to death with a cutlass or a machete, causing him to lose control and to run off the road into somebody's house. They said Bambuto simply lost control of his car and ran off the road and came to town. They said Bambuto was driving on excessive speed. I don't know how the hell they knew Bambuto was driving on excessive speed. Apparently, there's something in Van Buto's car that was able to tell them what speed he was driving on. But all these scenarios, that particular scenario does not suffice. It doesn't make sense. They said the house Van Buto ran into is 200 feet from the road, which is a damn bloody lie. The house that Van Buto ran into is not 200 feet off the road. Is there any way in Liberia along that particular route? 72nd Tottenham Boulevard, and there's any house that's 200 feet off the road. Are you kidding? It is not true. Makes absolutely no sense. Vambura was attacked by men on motorcycles. They struck him to the head when he wasn't paying attention. That's why he has a terrible gash on his. Did they show his head? We saw the picture. We, we saw the photo and the video. Van Buto did not die by running off the road into somebody's house. There was a gas on Van Buto's head, which could have only been inflicted by a very sharp object with which he was struck to the head. I mean, the guys think we're, we're dummies, and the, and the thing is over. That's the beauty for the government. The thing this is over, man. We, we, we kill these people, we write off a damn report. Musa Dean, a man who is spineless and has got no conscience, when he read a report, they finished with it, brother. Yes, but I want to say his voice one by one, as you can see, every bit of it, but I do have it from start to end. It's not that much long, I think, just uh, six minutes. But he talked about the three, let me say, uh, those that got murdered, he talked about everyone of them in the clip. So I don't know. Brother, how, brother, let's be honest. Isn't it not painful to hear Musa Dean say part of the cock many? Yeah. It's painful. Let's not even bother to listen to that nonsense. I beg you. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a complete waste of our time. I'd rather us take calls and hear from our people than listen to Musa Dean say nonsense to protect his job. No, we should not do that. Let's go to the phone lines and let's take some calls. Fellow Liberians, I say this to you. At this point, our options are limited, okay? When I say that, what do I mean? We focus on the elections. Now, oh, okay. yeah. beat them at the ballot box and get ready to beat them in 2023 and kick them out of, out of office. Our options are limited to the elections that are coming. So that's it. Uh, we haven't got much of a choice, uh, but to stay the course, campaign against them and whoop them. That's all. Now this morning at 8 30 Liberian time, we will have without Sam, our dear friend from Sandwave. She'll be our guest this morning on the show and we'll be announcing and launching that new Sandwave package. How you can send money to Liberia from the first of December to the 31st of this of December and benefit from a special rate, a special package if, if you're sending for the first time. 
so before we go to the phone lines, I just want to say happy birthday to Brother Manju Fambola. We celebrated your birthday uh, the day before yes, yesterday. I want to say happy belated birthday to you, Brother Manju Fambola of Pennsylvania. Uh, Mr. Francis Bowie of New Jersey. Happy birthday to you, your darling wife, Kevin Bowling, wants me to do this for you. Let's go to the phone lines and take some calls. You're listening to the Costa Show. So I'm saying our people, that's all you have to do. Prepare yourselves, go to the polls, vote these people out. And you begin to vote we are out by voting against him in 2020, December 8th. That is it. They want to win. Badly, especially in a number of counties. Monterado County, Grand Bassa, Nimba, a number of counties. They believe they must win in. They must win by all means. If they don't win, they're finished. And of course, they will not win. Let's go to the lines and let's take some calls there. Okay, 077 0102-102-086-0033. 102, 102, and the WhatsApp number is plus 231-888-6241-71. That's plus 231-888-6241-71. What do you make of the autopsy report? Uh, you make your own analysis of it. How do you understand it? Because what we are sensing is uh, just a trash. Why are we our time for the autopsy report? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you from? Good morning. Yeah, how are you, Papa? You all right? I'm okay. Welcome. Your name? I'm Barry Boy Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, the death of those people is so disheartening, and he can't buy image from our country in, into international war. Uh, the government is less yes, about our, our citizens. Not guaranteed that people think not go by to the election. The poor watcher. There's my brave people, the poor washer, which is very, very strong how to keep our poor washer, how bad we will control our, our bathrooms, and how bad we will control the security, because this guy needs to bring the election from CDPT camp up to far over the big the device to bring the election between that time. So we'll be very well together. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh my brother for calling in. You can still keep your calls coming in uh this morning. Let's take Noah Zahu Gibson. Noah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Noah. Welcome. Welcome, good morning. Yeah, you are live, Noah. Welcome. All right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Noah Zahu Gibson. And I'm filming in Asia from uh, my Saint Joe resident. We are all going to be grateful to God that we are back. And uh, I mean, Yeah, that was 
So in terms of pool watching, so Dylan is going to have uh, over 5,000 pool watchers and supervisors, over 5,000. And those 5,000 5, plus will cover the entire Manzarada County. Every single polling place in every part, in every voting precinct will be covered. Yes. And they're not going to leave to go and say, oh, you know, I'm hungry. I, I want to go look for food. No. They will be fed while they're there. You know, even if you are in Daha, like Mohammed Kone or uh, Amara Kamara, who just left the line, or uh, if you are, who, whoever you are, you will not be left uh, deployed and not giving anything. No, you will be giving some, something for the day. And so the funds are being raised, and that's why those funds should go to what? And, and, and I really, really, really wish that many of our people across the country, uh, we would be able to help a few other people financially. You know, but unfortunately, the people seem to be completely focused on Mount Serrano County. That is, is, is what it seems, it seems to have. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the fulcrum. Everything revolves around Mount Serrano County. I can appreciate all the interest people have in Mount Serrano County, particularly because of what Delon has, has done in the last one year as well. So you can appreciate where all the attention comes, comes from. You know, uh, but let's go back to the phone lines. Let's ask, let's take some calls there. Uh, mm -hmm. You're listening to the Costa Show. Today is um, Thursday, the 26th day of November 2020. Let's take some calls, Bob. Hello, we are Halabri, and we celebrated on Monday, so we'll be here on Tuesday. Yeah, no, no, November 29th, that useless holiday, celebrating Tuckman's birthday. So useless holiday. The reason Walker and others like it because that's the day they go. They go on the beaches. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take somebody on this line. Good morning. Good morning, my guy. I'm curious, young boy from Great Crew, Bakerville. Great Crew, welcome, my brother. Hi, it's Bakerville. Good morning. Country? No. This is 
man who used to, before Corona, he would get on the plane and go to Ghana and have a good time and travel all over the place to make these useless travels. He's never been to any part of the country. He had a man. He said, just wait and see what election results will show. What we will do to them in Grand Cru. You had a man. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said they're disappointed. They don't feel the impact of the government at all. Let's take some more calls. Why not? Let's take some more calls. Thanks there to our brother from Barclayville, Grand Cru County. Thanks, thanks for calling. Wow. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. 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 Yeah. 
Thank you so much, Momo. You know, I don't want to say this. So yesterday I was, I stumbled on a, a press conference by the PP Park Guji Clown Mayor, Koji. The boy is so less busy every day he wants to be speaking, talking nonsense. So so rubbish coming gushing out of his mouth. Koji said, said he wants to pay for SKD for Darius Delon. To go and repeat what they did, to replicate what CDC did on Saturday. He wants to spend he, his, his personal resources, his family resources. I'm like, what? Koji now has family resources? Mm -hmm. huh? Where were the family resources? When the boy used to harass people like us to pay his rent and put money in his, in his pocket. Where were those resources when he used to put a backpack or a backpack on his back and sleep from place to place many, many days when he couldn't afford to pay rent? Today he has family resources that he's challenging Darius Delon to fill it, to fill the SKD, to replicate what they did, what they did do. And I'm listening and I'm looking at the boy and I'm seeing the arrogance in him. And then he went further by saying that the people of Mount Sorale and the people of the other counties need to vote for all of George Weah's people because they want George Weah to deliver. And in order for George Weah to deliver to them what he promised during the 2017 elections, for which, according to Koji, they voted for him overwhelmingly, he must give them a uh, he must, that they must vote for all of his people. Yeah. Could, could you said, help George Weah vote for all of his candidates, vote for all of the people he has put forward. If you want him to finish the things that he's doing, that he committed himself to. And then, and then they asked him, the PP Park Gucci clown mayor, they said, Koji, uh, are you satisfied? Can you say with a straight face? I like that question that journalists ask him. You know, most like John, journalists don't want the salt they eat, but at least that question was well praised and pointed. He said, "Are you? Can you say, yeah, Mr. Koji, Mr. Mayor, that you feel that this government is doing a great job for which people should vote for them?" You know what Koji said? He said, "I'm better to be honest." I can't say we are sufficiently doing well. There are a lot of things that we need to do. We need to do better. That is a modest way of saying we are PC, dead PC. But still we want to be in power. Cody could not tell the journalists and the audience that the government is doing well. He could not say it. And you know, why I'm not a fan of the Gucci clown idiot, but that little emission of truth, confession of the truth, earned for that moment a little bit of respect and admiration. Ain't no game, boy. For the man to say, my man, I can't say that wrong. Yeah, we're not doing much. We're not doing better at all. But still, when you have over John, we have people in the Senate there will do, will do well. Can you imagine that, boy? Y'all gave us all this time and power, three years so, so far. We haven't done anything but for ourselves. And he's saying, vote for us. Give us Manzarada County back because it belongs to Joe Yapa, you know, and then we will do better. That is what the boy was saying yes, yesterday. And that he wants to pay Darren Dillon for his family resources. His grandfather was a multi-millionaire. He father had a large rubber farm and all that kind of stuff. They own prime real estate all over the place. So Goji has family resources. That idiot, that son of a swan, talking about family resources. Family resources. Man, God has mercy. Too much. Well, guys, let's take some calls. Let's go back to the lines. Let's take some more calls. So I'm telling you, folks, the strategy here is very simple. Beat these buggers mercilessly all over the country. Beat them so bad. 
And then we send such a powerful message to this idiot called George Weah that his time is over. We do that in three weeks. Three weeks, we go to the polls. I remember I said the pool, the pool. We're not going to the pool, we're not going to swim. We're going to vote, P-O-L-L. -L. We go to the polls, P-O-L-L-S. When we go to the polls, we vote them out all over the place. Family resources, my foot. Let's go and take some more calls. All right, let's take this question. Good morning. 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 If there no logical person uh, would, would say that the procedure completes our story, but yeah, but some people it will uh, we will surprise them. We will win and let them take some this because because I believe that we are doing our uh, whole work. We are on the field, the finish, and the, the people they they are accepting our our messages that we are giving to them. But the only thing we are saying is that we will be sending a full water that you that you very very uh, try to, to, to give us something to, to keep us in the room because the past the election leader, I was the only one that was telling me in 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 I mean, and you are right. There should be more than one person per poll in place so that one person has, for any reason, which is very likely to want to go and ease himself or herself, they should not be worried that the place may be left uh, unguided, unprotected. So I agree, with, I agree with you. I hope they're making that, consider that consideration. Let's take some more calls. Right? Let's take some more calls. It is six zero one two three eight three. Uh, let's take. Hello. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah, with the partner. But I don't know what's If you have a chance of it, I will need a partner. If you can see it, you can see it. What do you want? We should get it up. And then we can put it in the real temple. And to slow down what we want. If we slow down what we want. Yeah. 
destroy the ground and say no. I'm telling you, if they know all some sure, if they know all the decisions, because they were yesterday there was an information that was gone from the other side, they had the 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 beach there, from that beach they have a beach there. They have a big building, they have one of the things, they want it, found that you have to every police system, to every body, every nation in the sun will 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 protest, will go to the other side to protest. In the sun will protest. This is what is going to mean for the other side. You know, everybody saying the way of president. You will vote. I'm not worried. They will vote. will not be able to do that because they are remote, they are far, but Montserrat is what we will do. We will get the polling, uh, the tally sheets both from the people out in the field, the same way the Senator was last year. We, we were reporting on the thing from all over the place. We will do that. Uh, what some of you do not understand, I'm not saying they don't have money. I'm talking about the logistical challenge to go from polling place to polling place and try to bribe everybody. It's risky. It's extremely risky. It has a big chance of backfiring because you don't know who you're going to talk to. 
And besides, on that day, it's a risky thing. There are actually some people who will blow alarm and make a lot of noise. And so it's risky for you to say people will go and try to bribe people and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Let's take uh, a few more calls there, Mark. Let's, have, let's go back to the lines. So that men like Mark Hobo, you look at money to go bribing. Mm. Or Avinta. Or Amara Kamara. Yeah. Okay. You're wasting your time. 077 0 uh, 2 8 6 0 0 3 8 3 uh, 5 1 0 2 1 0 2 and your WhatsApp number is plus 231 8 6 2 1 7 1 uh, Keep your calls coming in this morning. We'll take some more calls. Then later on, we'll take our guests from same wave uh, as they talk about the Christmas and New Year Bonanza. Let's take this person. Good morning. Good morning, Yeah, welcome, bro. There you go. You see that? Yeah. So how can somebody can look at me and someone can be corner and say, let me get you bribe? Thank you. Yeah, how put up minutes the people of Samoka and then say, let me bribe you. That's not possible. You don't know, go to man and say, let me get you money, some 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 of got beef on it. It's not going to work. So the thing I'm trying to say to you, you have folks, is this. Let's just focus on having pro watchers everywhere. And as Avin Bita said, let's not stream the pro watchers. Let's have one, two pro watchers per polling place. So that if one person, not if, when, because of course, you can't be in a room for two of hours, Waka, and not going to pee or something like that, right? So we want to make sure we set it up in such a way that they are convenient. Yes. So y'all don't worry about they're coming to bring money. Oh, they'll bring money on the lesson deal. They'll go bribe people. Let me tell you something. They will not even trust their own people to give them money to say go bribe people. Yeah. You're talking about over 1,000 polling precincts. You think these buggers will go send money all the way in bank and say, you go bribe all the people all what? They will not even trust their people, which is a good thing for us. Because it is a very huge challenge to say, just give 500 people money and say, y'all go all the way look for C CPP poll watchers in Maserati County to buy them. Ah, that, 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 that is a, that kind of sequence that can't even have. By the time they finish doing it, it will, it will leak. By the time they finish having a meeting to give 500 people money to go buy people, the secret will leak. So my people, they don't worry about that kind of thing. Just go and vote. If you are just a voter, go and vote. If you live near a voting precinct, make sure you hang around by the time they put the tally sheet up, you take the picture, you send it to me on that on that day. That's what you guys did last year, and I'm sure that's what you will do again this year. It is critically important. We need to get all of those tally sheets. We, look, we will be on the Costa Show, a special edition election night. We will be on the Costa cost Show. We will also pay for airtime on one or two local radio stations. The show will be carried live on radio. We will tell you when the time gets closed up. We don't want to announce it soon before they go and, 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 and try to buy the radio station and prevent them from doing that. We will take care of that. Let's go to the lines and take a few more calls. All right. So keep your calls coming in this morning. We'll have you on as we uh, give you some little awareness about the uh, upcoming elections. We have like 30 more days. Uh, to go, yeah, 13 more days to go to the um, December 8th election. So let's keep the calls coming in this morning. You'll be live, have your say. What do you make of for the upcoming election? And the top three people will still look at it. Frank Musa Day, Spanish Frank Musa Day, uh, say that he, the guy, the people when they start in the car, they get down and uh, they say, oh, uh, they tell him, can't get the close the door, one guy in peace. Take more calls, keep it coming in 0777 102 102 0886 010383. Uh, triple five 102 102. Stay keep your calls coming in. We stay uh, awaiting them soon. One come in, I will take you through uh, this morning. So, there is none here for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're waiting for our guest. I just sent her a message. 
So we can talk to her now and then we'll check our leave. Um, you know, you don't have to do the show tomorrow, but okay. so we'll just take the weekend off and we'll be back on Tuesday because of course Monday is a holiday in Liberia. And so and we don't do the shows on the Liberian holidays, but we do the show on American holidays because it's not an American show, it's a Liberian show. Today is Thanksgiving Day and uh, we're spending we're on. So we're gonna take the weekend off. That's a long weekend, Obama. Yeah, very long. That's more jolly jolly, eh? Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> yep, I know. Yeah. Okay. Let's take some of our guests. Let's take this question. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, where are you calling from? This is Tony calling from the four road. So, uh, I'm very trying to get the honor with the one, but I had to get in. So, I'm volunteering myself to serve as one of the two worship for four roads. I'm volunteering myself. I don't need any time. I'm volunteering myself to be there as a two worship for four Okay, but you have to get in contact with, uh, you know, somebody from within the system, like uh, what guy, you know, what guy, you, you, you can tell the brother that you need to reach out to the Dillon people, let them give us the information that we can put out to the public for people to get in touch with them. Don't, don't hit a man with that. You just get the information. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, starting next week, I will make some calls. Starting next week, we'll start to announce how we can get in contact with uh, uh, those that are responsible for that. I will talk with uh, Senator Dillon. Let's take this question. Good morning. Good morning, brother. Yeah, welcome. Where are you calling from? Uh, two minutes, I want to stop and I have talked to the report. You see that, that, that report there, I don't know, the last people which you think and don't think about yourself, think about the other people that died. How do you tell us that somebody went in class, send us that in the morning? So they tell us that we're going to be at home. When the car was in the room, you're in the room, you're in the room, you're in the room. And even that broad screen, they get from uh, Joe or Bonner to Wakita every day, every morning, they pass to Wakita to Mokas. So the government didn't tell the truth. They want to kill the people, they want to lie. I think you would have taken a case of the two uh, men and women, a woman, a grown old man and woman, who is taking a car for a for, for selling, to sell it, or to sell it. Now, don't think they're after the sale, because either one was lost. They just be the whole day, then they 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 and the thousand dollars, you know, they are doing a something. You know what I mean? I'm going to have a chop off. You get, you get, you get my money. You might have this one. This government, that great people, and most of them, you can see the people, drop off, drop off, drop off. This one, this one, I want to have. That's what I'm going to put them on. And I see the one in the protest. I saw the other people talking about drop off, drop off, drop off for the platform. But you might have this one. Thank you very much. Um, let me say this. 
I walk out and the tell that saying that he wanted to be first, he wanted to do a launch on the face. Why do you see things they want to be approaching on the face? So say you put the face, why the center down for a launch? In that launch, I think you want to tell you the, the, the solution. Now, why the come and launch? That come and launch, we better have money to put the event that you know. And the people are telling you that the, 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 the voters, the voters now, more than that is government. We call ourselves that voters. The same voters in government, we don't have to go out there and show our face, and we don't have to go That's out there. That's true. And the president of Lush, the Japanese, you know, the Japanese, we will vote that out of the room. Thank you very much. Thank you. That brother just made a very key point, Gordon. A lot of the government workers are going to vote for that was the law. The yeah. same thing they did the last time. People are not happy, and they're gonna go vote. You get, you may force them to attend your lunch right. in your in in the stadium, but on election day when they go to vote, you will not be there. Mm -hmm. mm. The judgment day for you and the voter, you will not be there. A lot of government workers will vote for the law. They did it last time. They will do it again. So they are, they are more disenchanted right now than, than, than the last time. Exactly. The, 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 the whole thing is I ask the CDC people, are things better off in Liberia now than last year, July? Of course not. Things are worse off. You can't even find Liberian dollars. You can't find your own currency. Now you got people who are being murdered left and right by government people in order to protect themselves after stealing government money, millions and millions of dollars. You got more scandals that, that have been uncovered and exposed, selling our diplomatic passports and diplomatic positions abroad to criminals. The reasons for which people want to vote against you have increased. They have not reduced, they have increased. So for you to sit there and say, oh, we, we can win this time, based on what? Based on what can you win? That's the question we ask and they can't answer. And that's why we like to think that they want to cheat. But they will not succeed in cheating. I can tell you this much. Let's go back to the lines and take a few more calls. We can't get our guest, but we'll see. If we can get out today, we'll bring our on next week. All right, so we take some calls on the foreign numbers. Uh, the call is already that stay open. Just keep a call coming in, and you'll be live with us this morning, wherever you are. Uh, 077-0102-102-0886-010383. The WhatsApp number is plus 231-888-624171. Yeah, plus 231-888-624171. Uh, yesterday, again, there was another protest at the Nigeria Water and Sewer Corporation. It's been seven months plus. They haven't taken pay. Okay. So, the workers there and their family members will vote for Thomas Fala. Yeah. <laughs> now, the people at the Temple of Justice who've been protesting for many, many months for their salaries, they're going to vote for Fala. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The workers at the legislature. Huh? Who Thomas Farr, as yeah. chair of the Committee on Ways, Means, Finance, and the Budget, uh, yeah. and his colleagues, they conspired, they stole from the people. They too are going to vote for Fala, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Baga, there's this audio. Let me send it to you. I don't know whether you heard it. Uh, several lawmakers, in, including what's the fella's name? Who, including this, this guy, uh, Jeremiah Cohn. Huh? Mm -hmm. They are on here talking about eating money. You okay. haven't heard it? Eh? No. Check your inbox and play. Yeah, plug your phone in and play. Let's listen to it. So I'm told they are lawmakers. They're having a conversation about money, chopping money. Jeremiah Kong, the Prince Johnson man running for senator in uh, Nima County. He's, his voice is on it. Play that thing, my man. Drop it. Yeah. 
He had partners of two of them or two of them that was fine. I was in my group. He could not talk into the meeting. We talked to the fellow member. I don't know how he said he didn't talk to the meeting. Did he fight for it? I'm going to go over to There you have it. There's a conversation among lawmakers. They had hustled some money from the budget, obviously, and they were fussing about how to divide the money among, among themselves. All right, now enough of politics. We are going now to take our guest uh, on the show. We, we nearly told we were not gonna have her, but it's a good thing that we are going to have her uh, this morning with us. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so uh, it's been crazy the last couple of um, uh, days, and then we, uh, we were supposed to be on yesterday, but then you know I had a bit of a problem. But we're very glad to have you this morning on here with with us. And I like your sweater, by the by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Good. So uh, I told our audience that you have a big announcement you are going to make uh, for the holiday um, season that's coming. You know, actually next week is uh, going to be the first of December. So it's good to have you this morning. Welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for, for having me. Mm -hmm. um, and what I want to do today is um, I want to do two things. First of all, uh, yes, we will update you a little bit about the holidays uh, and what's coming. Uh, we're going to keep some secrets because we will have some uh, great uh, opportunities soon, but we, will, uh, we won't let uh, everyone know yet. Mm -hmm. But um, today what I want to do is I want to try to share my screen and I try to explain how exactly people should start using SendWave and um, it, what exactly are the steps that need to be done and how they can uh, use your code to get some free credit for their first transfer. Uh, and then we will also talk a little bit about uh, how we're trying to solve some of the issues that come up through uh, the people uh, from, from your um, comments, from other comments that we receive uh, elsewhere. So as we talked a few times, SendWave, it is all about trying to solve the issue, like problems and issues for the ASPRO communities around the world. And 
when we hear problems coming from you, the first thing we do is trying to tackle them. So when you write in the comments, you can be rest assured that one of us, one of our team is looking at these comments. We cannot always answer because it's not our platform. You can always go to SendWave page and write it there for us. Um, but we cannot always actually answer on, um, on Henry Costa on, on your, shore, on, on your uh, comments, but we look at them, we check them, we try to uh, fix any issues that come up. Through. Oh yes, Send, Send, SendWave is very good at that. They would just out of the blue, see a comment or a post by a customer who tried the service, loved it, but might have some, such, some suggestions and they would just reach out to that person. And a lot of you have contacted me. Oh, Costa, I was very surprised. I got a call from SendWave, all this wonderful stuff. So yes, uh, I can I can certainly, uh, you know, vouch for that, yeah. Okay. Um, so I think that for me to be able to share my screen, I might need to ask you um, to- Make you- Make me an admin, if you know yes. how to do it. Yes, I do know how. Oh, I believe I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is that make host uh, make uh, make or make host would be okay. For okay, this. make host. Oh, okay. We just need to remember to change it back before I finish. So yeah. Okay. So okay. okay. So now um, are okay. you in charge? What is it? You should be in charge. <laughs> you should be in charge. Yes, let me see here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So now I can share my screen. Um, and that's what I will do. Let me share my screen. This is, okay. okay. Uh, can, can you see my screen now? Very well. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you quickly through, um, through the, this um, a, a quick video. I will afterwards send it to you and you can post it also so people can see it and it's, it's very helpful for them. We still don't have the Liberia one, it's on the way. So this one, it has a different flag. Um, forgive us for that, it doesn't matter, it's exactly the same, okay? But it's you're- It's the same supervisor, same info. Exactly, it's the same info, yes, exactly. I'm not gonna put it with sound so you can, um, so I can explain while it plays, okay? Okay. So, when you want to start sending with SendWave, that's the that's the screen uh, that you get at the beginning when you want to register. Okay, so you can see here you need to insert your uh, details. You need to create your own password. Okay, so it really takes thirty seconds. It's not an exaggeration. You know it, Costa. You tried it yourself. Like mm -hmm. um, all it is is you put your name, you put your address, you you put your your real phone number of course because we will send you something so you really have to put your real phone number and then a password something that you remember make sure to put something that you remember if you just put something and then forget you won't be able to send afterwards because it will ask you for your password sometimes it can also ask you if you want it to remember your face or your finger you can decide if you want to do it then sendwave sends you a text message you can see a text message Verify mobile and it gives you six digits here. Um, a, and, and you need to insert those six digits and, and you can continue. So again, not very complicated. And here is that part where I'm gonna go a little bit back because it's important. So mm -hmm. uh, where you want to add your promo code, okay? So mm -hmm. I want to show you, oops, did you see here that the, the little man on the on the right side on the right I call it the human icon. I, I don't know whether that's the right way, but that's how I call it. The human icon in the upper right corner. Exactly. The human icon on the upper right corner, you press it and that brings you to a me section. In this me section, it's quite quick. So I'm gonna go back again a tiny bit. It says here enter promo code. This is the second um the second option from the top. Okay, and that's what you need to press. Um, and you get to the promo code. Of course, this is just an example. There is no such promo code, hello, SendWave. Instead, you want to put hen, uh, Costa. And from that moment on, sending money is very simple. All you need to do is add the recipient name, add the country. Of course, it will be Liberia and decide uh, how much you want to send. Mm -hmm. When you send, uh, you need to insert your uh, debit card details and uh, it will ask you 
sometimes for a little bit of verification of your identity. Uh, for example, your billing address, your zip code. Zip code is it's when it's in England, but it will be a postcode and your city and uh, and that's it. Sometimes again, you it you will it'll ask you for uh, some type of identity card like your driver license or something like that. Um, please try to put it because when you put this type of verification, that's what helps us make sure that no one is using your card for a fraud, no one is using your, your like stole your card. That's the reason we do it to make sure it's actually you. So it's only for your safety to make sure the app is as secure as we promise. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it will give you another, uh, it will show you exactly how much you pay. It will show you how much they receive. Um, and uh, of course in Liberia, it will show you also the, uh, the fee because there is a, this uh, small fee and, um, and that is it, okay? And a nice thing is, the nice thing is that once it, it was delivered, you will see here a little... Um, in uh, green. I like to see that green. Exactly. Waiting for the green, right, where it says processing, and then 10 seconds later when it says delivered is really nice, right? Very nice. I love to see the green. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's it. It really is simple. I'm go we're going to share this afterwards. Let me get out of the um, uh, share uh, screen. Now when... <laughs> When we showed it. Now, Sam, while you were speaking, mm -hmm. one of our very happy customers, Mr. Thomas Ansumana, reached out to me just now via Messenger to say, hey, Costa, every time I send large sums of money, uh, I get a call from Sendwave to confirm. Is that a security measure? He wants to know. So if, if you send uh, a large amount of money, usually it shouldn't be every time, mm -hmm. uh, but it, okay, so there are a few things that um, uh, like a, a little secret. So there are all kinds of things that trigger our, our system that they, that we need to check, that we need to make sure that uh, that no one is taking advantage of your card. That you're example, the one who's actually using your card and your exactly. same web account. Exactly. For example, let's say that um, you are you live in um, in Georgia and now you're in New York. Uh, you know, just like credit card, the credit card uh, company or the debit card company can recognize that you are in a, another uh, city and they will, and that will kind of trigger an alarm for them. Mm, why is this card is being used in another uh, city or even even more so in another country? So this is, these are the types of things that can trigger uh, an alarm on our end that to just to make sure that you are the one doing this transaction. Of course, we want you to send and we don't mind that you send bigger amounts. And so it's clearly so meant to protect the person. Exactly. The whole idea is to protect the person. And sometimes it's it's a bit, as a, as a customer myself, as a user myself of these type of things, I understand that it can be annoying because you need right now to use it. You want it to be quick. That's the whole idea of the service. And all of a sudden it takes time. It says that it doesn't work now because of these issues um, or it's uh, someone is calling you. We, we, we totally get it. But... But it's, it's it's pretty fast though. Somebody gives you a call and you say, "Hey, um, are you?" I don't I don't experience that. Maybe because I send only a few hundreds of dollars, or, or it's, you know. But I think he sends larger sums than I send. You know, yeah. I send a huge volume, but smaller amounts oftentimes. But he probably sends larger amounts. So I think I see why the system would trigger that sort of extra layer of security to protect him. Exactly. But he doesn't mind as long as is there to protect me, it doesn't, people love to be protected, especially by the service provider. Exactly, that's the whole point. Sometimes we will send you a message and we will ask you to contact us. Sometimes we will contact you, it, it, it depends on the issue. Um, but, but yeah, absolutely, the whole idea, 100% is to protect your account and make sure that it's not being taken advantage of. So just bear with it when it when it happens, even if it's a little bit uh, frustrating. The nice thing is that you can always, if you don't feel like calling us, you don't want to wait in the line, especially on the weekend when it can get a bit more busy on these lines, that's fine. You can text through the app, you can text the, the customer service and they will get back to you. It does mean that maybe you'll have to wait a little bit, but it can it, it will definitely happen. So um, so there are all kinds of ways that, to make sure that you don't get frustrated about these things when they when they do happen. Uh, but if it's something that happens and you feel like it's 
it happened too many times or it feels odd. No, he said only twice, really. Okay, twice. It's happened to him only twice. Got it. But otherwise, you can always contact us, ask what's, what's happening, uh, and we'll, we will try to uh, solve this issue. So Wonderful. Yeah. One, one, wonderful. Uh, so the other issue is increasingly a lot of people are opting to go to the Lone Star Salem team branches. I'm hearing, at least in the last couple of days, less and less complaints. Those who with the cash out, that's where they're going. They have a better chance of accessing their funds there, as opposed to, say, the mobile money uh, agent, which is a good thing. I, I think your efforts, your intervention efforts, uh, are certainly playing out well. And, there's a, and the people also are appreciative of the general liquidity problem in the country. It's hard to access money. So everybody knows that, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but we just need to keep telling people that um, that's the way to go if you, if you must cash out. Yeah, although I do want to say something about that. So we, of course, on the long term, we don't want people to have to go, let's say, to an MTN branch. The whole idea is that there are lots and lots of agents around the corner. Uh, but what what we need to do um, is what, what we do already is work with MTN um, Lone Star to ensure that, that people don't, we need to ensure two things. First of all, that people know that there is a little fee for cashing out. Because what happens sometimes is that people will say, oh, we didn't know. We paid a little bit of fee in the US and we think, oh, that's great. We don't need to pay anymore. And, 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 that's, and that's not true. And that's something that I hear uh, with you in the show and I'm saying it out loud. There are fees in both sides. We never said anything else. It's important for us that people know exactly what they're getting, what is the service. There are fees on both sides. On SendWave side, the fee is always 3%. Maximum that you can pay is six dollars, meaning or pounds or euros if you are in the UK or um, or in Europe. So maximum that you'll pay will be six dollars if you let's say send uh, one thousand dollars. But if you send smaller amounts and you didn't get to the then three percent is less than six dollars, then you'll just pay the three percent. This is SendWave side only. When someone wants to cash out the money, they don't have to cash out the money, they don't have to cash it out all at once, but if they want to cash it out, there is a small fee associated with this cashing out as well. Eventually, what we hope is for people to do a bit less of the cash, the cashing out and use this money from the mobile wallet, then they don't need to pay this extra. But I understand this is a process. It happened to in other countries that we work with that use the mobile money but it's still not the case in Liberia, which is absolutely fine, and, and, we, and, and, and that's fair enough. There is a fee. Make sure you know how much you need to pay. That's really, really important. There is, on, uh, I'm, I'm happy to share it here again. There is on MTN website, on MTN um, Lone Star website, there is like a schedule of fees, how much you need to pay, and you need to use it. I, I, I think I should keep publishing that myself. Okay, so that that's people know. And exactly. I think uh, we should have MTN tell their agents that it is a requirement that they have the fee schedule available at every time somebody goes to cash out. Let the person demand and say, okay, I want to see the fee schedule. I mean, something like that. Yeah. It, it, it would make sense. It would be fair. Absolutely. And then when you know exactly how much, that's a great idea. When you know how much you want to pay, all you need to do is you need to pay for cashing out. So what is the fee for that? All you need is to make sure that you actually pay the right amount. And that if you, and, and yes, it might take a little bit of time because of the big, big liquidity issues of dollars in Liberia. Um, it might take hard, it might be harder to find the agent. We are working on it, but of course we are limited because we are um, uh, on the other side. We do send the money. But uh, uh, but of course it's it's a, it's a little bit of a different dynamic, so uh, it doesn't mean that if we send the money to Liberia, it will get to the exact agent that you are now trying to engage. No, with. it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, but 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 definitely it's something that we are working on, and I'm sure it will get better and better with time. Uh, however, we we you. We already know that people are way more happy than they were in the past. So if you're of one of those 
who are not happy, who experience something unfair, for example, someone charging too much fees or um, saying things that are not exactly what they should say, that's exactly the moment when you need to pick up your phone and call send wave service. If we know that, we can treat that. And when we treat these specific issues one by one, even if it's a lot of work, eventually that's what will make sure that, a, that everyone behaves and acts fairly and according to the law and according to what they need to do. There you have it. That's Sam uh, from uh, Sandwave, the Sandwave team, the growth department. She's uh, joining us this morning from London, the United Kingdom. And uh, we're discussing um, just, she just did a very simple demonstration, video demonstration, how you can set up your Sandwave app in just 30 seconds. And you'll be on your merry way sending money to Liberia, to Ghana, to Kenya, to Nairobi, to, um, I mean, several other countries. And, uh, and, and I'm literally looking at the fee schedule here from MTN, which I will publish later on. And uh, so, so that you are armed with that when you go to cash out, if you must. We know we are a cash economy. People love cash in Liberia. But a lot of people are also getting used to having money in their mobile wallets. People will tell you, oh, I got, yeah, I got this amount of money in my mobile wallet because it's secure. In fact, your mobile wallet is, is even more secure than your actual physical wallet. If somebody were to steal your phone, they wouldn't need to know your pin to your mobile wallet before they can access your funds. But if somebody stole your actual wallet or actual cash in it, bank notes, they wouldn't need any password to access the funds inside your wallet. So there's a huge difference there. So uh, as time goes on, people will get used to spending money out of their mobile wallet. And of course, it's going to be good. Take the US, for example, Europe and other parts of the world. We hardly use cash here. We're a cashless economy, and it works very smoothly. Sam, I want to thank you very much. Um, uh, let's give you a minute to close up. And we look forward to having you perhaps the first week, the middle of the first week in uh, December. We should, we should have you. Perfect. So yes, in the middle of the first week of December, we can meet again and we will share with you some exciting news about the December. Um, we, we will also make sure to post the video that we just shared with you. And if you... Uh, yeah, you will send me that video and I will post it. Please perfect. Do. So make sure you can share this with anyone that you think would be a good, uh, you know, someone that would like to try to use SendWave so they don't miss out on the promotion, on using a code, on getting a little bit of uh, a free money to send for the first time. And, um, and then um, every time when you have an issue or anything like that, please do contact us. We are here to help you. Uh, and we are here to make sure that all of your problems are met like we discussed today. Thank you very much, Anne. Thank have you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Oh, okay, folks, there you have it. Uh, Sam of our Sandwave team from the UK who joined us. Now, folks, the way it works is, is that as Ruby and Cooper says he's used it and the service is good. Now, Ruby, I want to say this to you. The service is great and the fees are split. That's what they do. The fees are split. Uh, you know, the fees are split between Sandwave and MTN in Liberia. So for example, you send 500 bucks, you will pay only $6 a year in the US. When that same 500 bucks get to Liberia, you, you should spend it between four to $5 to get it. So you will have spent a total of say $11 to send 500 bucks. And, and so basically you see that's, that, that's the way it works. So the fees are split. So send with guess or share and MTN guess or share if you must cash out. If you don't want to cash the funds out, you don't get to pay that, you, you, you see? So that's the way it works. So the fees are split between Sendwave and between MTN in Liberia. So that's the way it works. Uh, Roland Dia, thank you, my friend. Uh, he says Sendwave is awesome. It is awesome, I use it. It's the only way I send money to Liberia now. The only way. Um, I send money to my office. To the guys, if I want them to buy something, uh, fuel or gasoline or pay for something quickly at the office, I send with them. If I want to help somebody with something small, very quick, and I don't have the money in, like, in, like, in Liberia, I send with them. It's the way. That's what I do. That's, that's, that's what I do now. I just send with money. 
And there are hundreds and hundreds of you who, according to the, the, the information in the system, in the data, uh, the database, you have entered our promo code Costa, and you are yet to send money. Well, I'm reminding you, you probably have forgotten. You already got five bucks in the system. You only need to send $20, $15, whatever, and that five bucks that you have will be added to the money that you sent. So go ahead and use it, man. Just don't have it saved in your thing. Use it. You know, and guess what? Every time you use it is a good thing because you get three, five bucks because the money is there. If you don't send money, if you don't send money at all, you're not gonna use a free five bucks that you have that you have. So you can use a free five bucks and that way we can make money as well. Use my code, I make money, and you also make money. Well, you also send money, free five bucks to your relative and your and your loved one. Thank you so much. God bless you and have yourself a wonderful weekend. Uh, we will not be on tomorrow. Um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going through my convalescence. It's a period after illness that you take to get well. It's called convalescence. It's a big English word. Uh, and, and, and so I wanted to rest up for the entire weekend. And Monday will be a holiday, so we certainly will not be here. And uh, so we will be here on Tuesday. God willing, we'll be upbeat. In, in, in with great vibes and every every everything. Thank you so much. God bless you and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful blessed Thanksgiving if you in the US. And if you're in that like like Liberia, God God bless you all and stay safe. If you're in Europe, God bless you. I love you. If you wherever in the world you are, stay safe. Bye.